Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, September 12th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today, of course, Microsoft's Patch Tuesday, and with that, we got the usual patch from Adobe as well. Microsoft patched 61 different vulnerabilities, and in addition to this, we got two advisories, one regarding the Adobe Flash patch and a second one regarding Fragment Smack. Now, Fragment Smack was a vulnerability that was announced a month or so ago, and essentially deals with fragmented packets that may cause a denial of service condition. This also affected Unix. Now, what Microsoft suggests in this advisory is to change your registry to drop all out of order fragments. This seems a little bit extreme, but in modern networks, you shouldn't really see any fragments. You may see some fragments to your DNS servers, that's fragmented UDP packets, but aside from that, it may actually be safe to just drop all fragments at your firewall. Yes, sounds extreme, and I was a little bit skeptic about this at first as well, but uh, after some talking to our handlers and doing some experience myself, Uh, that actually seems to be a viable option. Now, aside from this fragmentation issue, Microsoft also released a patch for the scheduler or ALPC privilege escalation vulnerability that was already exploited in the wild. So that's definitely something you want to pay attention to. And then two additional vulnerabilities that have been disclosed to the public, but so far for these other two vulnerabilities, there haven't been any public exploits for them. Two SMB vulnerabilities, but they're only denial of service or information disclosure, so I wouldn't really be too concerned about them at this point. Adobe's Flash update this month only patches a single information disclosure vulnerability, so really nothing all too exciting about this. But in addition, we also got an update for Cold Fusion. The Cold Fusion update does fix four deserialization vulnerabilities that can lead to arbitrary code execution. It also fixes a file upload vulnerability that can lead to arbitrary code execution. So definitely pay attention to this if you're still running Cold Fusion. Now, one of the not so serious really vulnerabilities being patched by Microsoft this week was an address bar URL spoofing vulnerability in Microsoft Edge. The problem here, however, is that Safari apparently hasn't patched the identical vulnerability so far. After Microsoft Today fixed this flaw, Rafael Bollock, who reported the flaw to Microsoft and Apple, has published a detailed blog post with proof of concept code that shows how this particular vulnerability is exploited. This, of course, great for phishing because you can make the user believe that they are on a very different page than they're actually looking at right now. No word yet from Apple as to when or if this vulnerability will be patched. It does affect the desktop and the mobile version of Safari. And because what we really need is more exploits and easier ways to find them, there is now a neat new search engine for exploits Sploidus.com allows you to essentially just search for, for example, a product name and then find exploits the product may be vulnerable to. I believe it's also possible to filter, for example, by the language used in the exploit and the like, for example, Python versus Ruby and such, to find something that fits nicely with your exploit framework. Not much else really on the site right now other than a search box, so not really show who is behind the site or what other features there may be lurking on the site, so proceed with caution. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.